everyone welcome to today's video today I'm going to be creating a super easy cheeks makeup look and I just want to focus my whole entire uh, routine to the cheeks area and creating a very contour look I'm gonna start off by applying this foundation to my face and I'm just going to apply that very well distribute the product and blend it super well with my wet sponge I'm using a wet sponge because I want to avoid any cakiness or just pretty much anything that could make my skin look a little bit dry. Okay, now next step is to apply the powder and I'm using this one by Rimmel. This one is the Stay Matte and I really like this powder because it's very fine and it creates a very uh, matte effect so I really really like it. So I'm just going to apply that wherever I apply my foundation to set my whole entire face super well. Okay, now to avoid looking a little bit too pale, I'm going to do my eyebrows because I love doing my eyebrows and I feel like this step is very easy and if I was if I was to skip it, it, would, it wouldn't make sense because it's just too easy. Okay, so now that I did my brows, you guys can see the huge difference. I really like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna be taking any contour powder that you guys own, and I'm going to apply that right in the hollows of my cheekbones. And if you guys do not know where your uh, your cheekbones are, pretty much just take a brush and kind of like measure from your ear to the um, to the inner part of your face, and you're going to pretty much apply your contour there and going downwards and blending upwards that's the trick so there you guys you see me showing you um how to kind of like create a line going downwards okay so afterwards i just pretty much blended a little bit of the contour and i also blended on the temples of of my of my forehead because i feel like when you guys contour there it makes a little bit of like a difference and it depends on the shape of your forehead so be careful with that and I'm just gonna keep applying a little bit more because I feel like it wasn't too noticeable and it looks kind of harsh right now but just keep blending until you guys can see a very uh, natural effect Okay, 
So now I'm going to be taking this blush and I'm going to be applying this right in the center of my cheekbones. And I really like this blush because it's very subtle and it creates a very pretty look. So pretty much just apply that and blend it upwards. Now for highlight, I'm gonna be taking this one by Milani. This was this one is an eyeshadow, but I use it as a highlight because as an eyeshadow, it's just it's too shimmery for me. So I pretty much just apply that right in my cheekbones, and I really, really like the effect that it gives me. This was one of my first uh, trick to applying a great highlight, and I really like this champagne color. It's so pretty. So this look is very natural, it's kind of like for those pool days or just going to the beach kind of days. I always do this when I go to the beach. I apply a little bit of makeup just to pretty much uh, look presentable and pretty. And I apply some baby lips because it, it, it has a lot of, um, like a, a very cute effect. And I feel like it's very natural and it goes really, really well. So yeah guys, this is pretty much the final result. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this video and can recreate it. Have fun and take care. Subscribe to his YouTube channel. Bye-bye.